Master Chocolate here. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I'm very impressed with your self-restraint for, <laughs> for not just burying your face on that. Thank you. <laughs> Make some noise. Perfect. So let's see the result. We are here in the chocolate laboratory of Daniel Ampuero Chocolates, and he is going to explain the chocolate making process and take us through a chocolate cooking class. Hello to everyone, my name is Daniel Ampuero. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with uh, you, at GP and Amelia, to this amazing experience. In this atelier, I teach uh, all the students how to make pralines, how to make uh, truffles, how to prepare the chocolate, how to formulate all the recipes and uh, like this we can give to Ecuador a little bit more um, professionals no? because we have an excellent uh, cacao that is uh, catalogued in the one of the best cacao beans in the world but we don't have too many chocolatiers. Amelia, are you excited to learn how to make chocolate? I'm very excited, I yes. I can see you barely can take yourself. <laughs> well, and there's also, I smell the chocolate. There's chocolate all around me. <laughs> I'm is in heaven. What, is this what heaven looks I think like so, to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to prepare a, a milk chocolate, but uh, without milk. We're going to replace it with uh, coconut milk. It's a vegan, excellent chocolate. It's a perfect, and I love it, this recipe. So <laughs> let's uh, pour a little bit of cacao, okay? We're going to roast them a little bit. So these are just the dry beans. This is the dry beans, okay? okay. So in this step, we're going to try to find the best beans. If you see a beans that is uh, a little bit like broken, is, is not for making a good chocolate. If they are too small too, we need to remove them. Chef, it's working, <laughs> the sous chef. My sous chef, please. Yes. Okay, so we already have one roasted here. Wow. And we're going to put this one to roast. I wish you all could be here with me to smell this. It smells incredible. It kind of smells like baking brownies right now. It does, like Yeah. <laughs> so let's put this one in the, in the table. And now it's a little bit hot, okay? So uh, we, got, we have to wait like 30 seconds and then start to peel them a little bit, okay? So this is the, the most uh, long process because okay. we, we are going to do by hands. It's a process that we make with a lot of hands. No? We try that we call the friends, we call the family. So that's the cacao nibs. It's a healthy cacao chocolate that you can eat. No? And then let's make some chocolates. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. You finally get to see how the magic is made. I know. Okay, so first, let's put the apers, my sous chef. <laughs> I have the recipe over here, okay? So we're going to use the nibs that we peel, mm -hmm. then the cacao butter, the coco coconut milk, the coconut sugar, and a little bit more of canned sugar too. We're going to measure everything and we're going to pour 500 grams. This is a 500. Very, very precise business. Yes. Amelia. <laughs> okay, so we have the nibs already. Then we're going to measure the cacao butter. Okay, then we need the sugar. So first the coconut uh, sugar is 266. Let's measure this, this, my okay. chef. And then the other one is 250. So in pastry and chocolate tree, we need to be very precise. Like this, uh, all the things are perfect. Oops, Let's over by eight. Move a little bit, don't worry. <laughs> That's perfect. And then the last ingredients, it would be the Coconut flour. <coughs> or coconut, no, not coconut flour, the coconut milk. Uh, melt the butter? Yeah, yes. we're going to put just here and heat it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is taking like two minutes okay. and then it's ready, no? So this melanger is a 
the perfect one for the chocolatiers and entrepreneurs. You wow. can grind with this uh, stone wheel, yes, yeah, sorry. And everything is okay. So we're going to start with the cacao butter, a little bit. Let's turn. Chocolate, coconut uh, flavor is a very nice uh, flavor. I love this recipe. I'm trying to, <laughs> <laughs> trying to control yourself. I know yeah. it's a whole bowl mm. of chocolate. Please, GP, mm. try it. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So it's, it's, so it's good. melting mm. in your mouth. You don't feel any mm. grind of sugar. No. No nips, uh, cacao nips. Wow. What we're going to do is to temper this uh, chocolate to increase the temperature first and then we're going to pour all the chocolate here to temper them. Okay. okay. So let's start. I want to eat. I just eat it like that. It needs <laughs> to temper. Before to temper the chocolate, we're going to prepare the molds, okay, the chocolate bars. So let help me. We're going to pour a little bit of alcohol. Normal alcohol, okay. okay, or maybe vodka if you have vodka. Vodka sounds good. Vodka too. You're just polishing vodka them. Vodka chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to clean very good the, the inside part of the mold. Okay. Like this, you have a perfect shiny chocolate bars. Okay. Okay. My sous chef is very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then prepare. The zone too, no? We're going to clean a little bit here. The alcohol first uh, melting. We're going to mix it a little bit. So you see the milk chocolate color. Yeah. Is by the milk coconut powder. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they need a little bit more time. Okay. So let's heat again. No? Okay, second heat. It starts to, to be smoother well. and liquid. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to control the temperature of the chocolate with a thermometer, a laser thermometer. So now it's 48.6 degrees. So we need to be between 45 and 50 degrees. Oh, okay. okay. So we are perfect now. Yay! Let's mix a little bit more, please. You are left-handed, no? Yes, I am. Okay, like my wife. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Try to don't feel any big parts of chocolate. If you don't see any more, it's see okay. Any. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me show you how to temper, okay? okay. To temper is to decrease the, this temper to 27, 28 degrees. Like this, you have to create the, the crystallization of the cocoa butter. If you pour this one in the molds and then you freeze 
them, uh, when you remove the bar, it's going to melt in your hands, no? So you don't create the crystallization. Oh, so that's okay. why we need to uh, control this technique. I see. Okay? First, we're going to pour 70% of this chocolate in the table, and then 30% stay hot, okay? okay? Like this, they arrive to 27, 28, and then they have to increase to 29, 30 degrees with this little heat that we, we keep, okay? So let's start. <laughs> We're going to keep a little bit of chocolate here. So yeah, so we start to melt. create the crystallization of the cacao bar. Okay. okay? And that's so it doesn't right. melt in your hands. Yeah. That's so it melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so let's before. So first you yeah, do this. Yeah, like this. I'm a little cautious. <laughs> I know it's actually thicker than I expected. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Then you're going to scrap all the edge. So like I'm being kind of flipped here. Don't worry. So and, then, and then you you need to keep the temperature control. No, we are at 29 degrees. We just need like uh, three degrees less, and then we're going to pour over there because oh, the table is very cold. So right. that's why we have to go faster. But very good, very good for your first time. My very first time ever. Let's pour again in all okay. the table. Mm -hmm. On the floor. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Let's check the temperature. 28 degrees, so we can start to take everything uh, again. Okay. Then I will help you to pour here. Okay. Master chocolate here. <laughs> <laughs> Impressed with your self restraint. You're <laughs> not just burying your face on that. Thank you. <laughs> I think the mask is coming in handy for multiple reasons today. <laughs> so if you press properly and with. Uh, oh, I see, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my. <laughs> Let's make a little bit of show. Wow. Ooh. Very impressive. So now we control the temperature. It's 27 degrees, so it's okay. time to pour back to the. Yeah, so, how do you do that? So, we can do with this technique, like this, okay? Or we can just leave the chocolate. Wow! I think he's done this once or twice. Yep. <laughs> you don't even leave any residue. That's amazing. That's it. Wow. That Check is so again. Cool. And then it's not finished. We need to mix the hot parts and the okay, cold right, part. So right. you can mix them. Okay. And the final temperature needs to be like uh, 29, 30 degrees okay. to pour in the chocolate uh, part. Faster, faster! Yeah. <laughs> Más rápido! Más rápido! For this part you will make the big ones, I will make the small ones. Okay. Let's pour a little bit of chocolate. We're going to vibrate a little bit. Make the vibration. Like these all the little bubbles go out. We're going to remove a little bit of the accident like this the perfect bar is That's made so in cool. okay we clean we clean here again a little bit of vibration <laughs> uh, 
That's it. Finish. Wow. Yay. Well, it's not completely finished. Now we need the real crystallization process is in the fridge at 5-8 degrees. So we need to go to the fridge. Okay. okay. So first, let's make some chocolate bars here. So you pour and then I can help you to remove the excess. Okay. So how much? Uh -huh. Little by little, like this. One. Two. A little bit more. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Let's clean a little bit here. Then your vibration. Make a little vibration. Yeah. Move to the corners. A little bit here. Let me help you here. Okay. So oh, I have a lot of bubbles in mine. <laughs> you were going to vibrate a little bit. Okay. So if we don't vibrate, we're going to see all these uh, holes. No? Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, so let's harder, harder, harder. So let's see the results. So if we go in this part, you cannot see any bubbles, so it's okay. okay. We're okay. okay we good. are ready. All right. So now we're going to put this one in the fridge. Amelia, you forgot something. We you forgot we were going to do almonds. I got so excited with the chocolate. <laughs> let's put some almonds there. It's a nice combination. Oh, wow. uh, roasted, roasted little almonds. So they give you a, a crunchy texture that is perfect. Lovely. Right, so back in the fridge. Yes, I have to wait. But only 15 minutes. Are they done? Yeah, it is finished. <laughs> okay. Woo so first we check the crystallization is is ready. You can move a little bit your bars like this. Like oh, this yeah. is completely removed. Okay, and then we need to just turn around and make a little snap. Whatever. Whatever. And voila! Wow! Oh, so there is beautiful. the shiny because we polish properly the mold, and then the most important is that we temper the chocolate. If we don't temper the chocolate, uh, you will not have this uh, texture, no? Wow. That's the most important thing is the the snap. Nice. You see? Oh, yes. That is, is sound. Wow. This this taste. <sighs> GP. Wow. Mm. Wow. Oh my god, it's so good. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Mm. Let's make oh a little hint of the coconut in there too. Wow, that is incredible. You're going wow. to make the same with the big ones? Yeah, there's so much depth of flavor. I know. These are amazing. It's so um, smooth. It's smooth. Which is really oh, incredible creamy. since you saw, well, to see this process yeah. from start to finish. Yeah, you can see those nibs in there, and now we have this wow. smooth and creamy chocolate. And with mm. almonds, they are perfectly. I am extremely impressed. Thank you, Sushef. Thank you, Amalia. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure to, to teach you all the things, and I hope you, you enjoy a lot. Oh, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you are my, my hero now. <laughs> <laughs> Muchas gracias. Yes. Ciao. Gracias. Ciao, ciao. I want to give a super big thanks to Danielle for taking time out of his day and doing this class for us. I learned a lot, and I told JP it's a good thing we're not neighbors because I'd be <laughs> over here making chocolate all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you'd like to learn more about Danielle and his uh, delicious chocolates or take one of his classes either in person if you're in YQ or online. I'll put a link to his information in the description below. And if you like this video and chocolate <laughs> as much as we do, leave us a thumbs up, please. And on that note, we hope you have an unconventional day and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao. You can't eat all of these at once, Amelia. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> wow. Thank you, Simon.